I've come to realize the people that hold Saul up as the Christ for the Gentiles, they're going to prove Saul is right by Saul's words. The people that ain't for Saul, they will use part of Jesus. They're going to run straight back to Moses and say, this is what we got to listen to. One group wants to listen to Saul. The other group wants to listen to Moses. Both were punished for disobeying God and getting his message wrong. Moses says murder people if they do good on the Sabbath. Moses says murder people. God says don't kill. Well, I don't even touch Saul. Saul's just the Antichrist. Moses didn't get in the promised land. Why? Because he added to the law. But you people want to follow Moses, you follow Moses. Just like you people want to follow Saul, follow Saul. Seems like very few people want to follow what God said, the first and the last. Y'all just try to figure it out on your own. What's that mean? You're leaning on your own understandings. And what do you do when you do that? You run to words that are written down. What's that doing? Relying on the scribes. The anti-Saul people, I think, are probably worse than the Saul people. The anti-Saul people tell you, don't follow Saul, follow Moses. I'm telling you, follow neither one. Ignore Saul. Ignore Moses. You better follow God. That's the one you better worry about. If you want to know the laws of God, listen to, why don't you go watch the Book of Matthew movie? Oh, that's right. You got more important things to do than learn what God said. Or do you think you got a free pass? Praying for y'all. Saul folks and the Moses folks. There are very few God folks. And I can tell by the way people tell me to learn. One tells me to trust Saul. One tells me to trust Moses. Well, you're both wrong. I'm going to trust God. Can't go wrong. Praying for you all. God bless.